Hello everyone and welcome. Today's tutorial is on the Resistance Star Fortress bomber, which was seen in The Last Jedi. Uh, I know this ship in universe is very divisive and not everyone's going to like it, but essentially I, I planned to make this a long, long time ago, never really had the references to do so, um, but now I do. Uh, they are credited to Raven Deviant on DeviantArt, makes a load of uh, Star Wars ships and stuff. So thank you to them for producing the orthographic projections of the ship. And that's what I worked from to make this. I made it in the kind of red color scheme rather than the blue. I just thought it worked a little bit better and it fit in better with the uh, the Y-Wing and the A-Wing that we did recently. And it looks pretty nice. Obviously, it's the largest one-to-one uh, -one scale resistant thing we've, we've done so far. That's not saying much though, because like this is still only I think it's 20 something meters long. Um, if I remember correctly, so it's not massive, but it's still something you know crossed off the list. Looks pretty nice. Obviously, you've got the giant, basically bomb chute down here at the bottom, uh, with the little ball turret here on the back, um, another one there as well, two rear turrets there, uh, some little antenna things, and this is where the pilot would go now, just because of the way this thing came out, shaping wise, to make it as accurate as possible. Um, I couldn't fit a cockpit in there. So this thing is just kind of exterior decoration. There's no interior to it. But maybe you could figure something out. You'd probably sacrifice a little bit of the exterior look there. Um, I'm not sure where this would come in handy as a decoration. Maybe if you're making a space battle or something. I don't think this is how it would be landed. I don't really know how it lands. But yeah, you wouldn't really want to display it like this if you're making a, a mock or a, or a diorama or anything. But yeah, we're going to crack on with the build onto um, the first section. We're going to do all this sort of launch, bomb launch tube thing as, as one section, and then we'll do the rest as the layer uh, system that we normally do. So yeah, let's get on with the build. Okay, starting off the build, we're going to need these materials. Smooth stone, um, clay, andesite, diorite, and deep state tile walls. Black concrete, polished black stone stairs, dark oak fence gate, and dark oak sign. These four are for the uh, bolter at the bottom. So the <laughs> the green line there is the front of the build, red line is the back, and the arrows also pay, uh, uh, face towards the front of the build as well. Uh, so just bear that in mind. And then the solid green and red line here is also the middle of the width of the build, so anything that's on the left is also on the right. Um, I'm going to face, I don't normally start facing this direction, but I'm going to face towards the front actually, uh, just because that's the way my reference is facing and we're going to basically do a upside down stair one two one there and then a black concrete so again this is the front here so that black concrete should be on the front block on the second layer up dark oak fence gate one there and one there next to the black concrete and then fence gate on the second layer up one and two flip both of them and then add a dark oak sign just on both of those first ones and that's it you can get rid of uh, that and that now and these as well I'm gonna grab the gray concrete block I'm gonna grab the iron bar and I'm also gonna grab the normal brick wall okay take the smooth stain block one two oh, one two three four we're going to come to this black concrete here and do one, two, three, four again. And then go out and up, delete that first one, two, three, four. On the front side here, come up by, uh, in fact, we're going to add a, a deep slate tile wall on the front first. So do one of those there and then just do a brick wall on the left and right of it. So just like this. We're going to add a second deep slate tile wall on top of the first, two andesite walls, grey concrete, one, two, three, four, and then just do five, six, seven. So it should be uh, two blocks higher than what we did on this side. Iron bar, we're going to put on the top one and the third one down. We're going to get the smooth stone, bring this up by one, two, and three. And take the andesite wall, do four there, four there as well. 
I'm going to take the light grey banner. I'm going to put one of these just there beneath this iron bar. The second one down, not the first one. And then come to here, do another one there as well. Get rid of that. Skeleton skull. Survival players, you can replace these with stone buttons. It's going to be one of them just there on the bottom half of that top banner. And then another one here as well. Just going to grab that uh, fence gate back a second. The dark oak one. Put that there. And the uh, deep slate tile wall. And then another skull here. Get rid of those. Right, I'm going to quickly pause while I check the details on the back side. So you'll just see a quick jump cut. Okay, so on the back side of this, we are going to take the grey concrete. One and two there. We're going to need the dark oak trap doors. And that's one and two like that. We'll need the grey banner this time. Just one of those goes there. Two deep slate tile walls in this gap. And then iron bars. Um, if we grab those again. going to be one, two here. Out by one, out by one. Go up by one and two, one and two up by one two three four one two three four and you're gonna add one two three there and then just one two and three here like that now it's uh, it's not really making anything right now but it will in a minute you'll see it all come together soon we need the light gray stained glass pane just uh, two of these for now one and two there And then what we're going to do here is take the brick walls, bring these all the way up to the top. And again, all the way up. We'll need the red stained glass pane just to bring that forward a little bit. Just one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So it should box off those iron trap doors as well. Okay, it should look like this so far. We're going to take the andesite wall now. I'm going to come to where this skeleton skull is and do andesite walls next to the brick ones and just bring them all the way back until they jump, join up with the uh, iron bars just there and come up by one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take the diorite wall, four of them there, four of them there. And then down on this bottom half here, I'm going to take um, a mixture of stone well smooth stone and clay and we're just going to do it randomly so like three clay like this but you can do it however you want um it doesn't matter for this part and we're just going to bring it up to about there then we're going to take the diorite walls bring these across the bottom row times two in fact those last ones are andesite ones and remember we're going to do this on both sides as well two andesite walls there one here keeps like tile wall two diorite walls three three and three like that so on this side it'll look like the same but just mirrored two 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 three 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 tile wall underside 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 diorite diorite all right if we come up to this uh, top area here now we're going to take the po uh, polished diorite we need that we need the clay and smooth stone again you will also need the chiseled stone bricks and then the dark oak sign. This one, three polished die right there. Three here as well. One there, one there. Clay, clay, smooth stone, smooth stone. Clay, 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 clay on all four corners. Polished die right in the middle. Uh, the chiseled stone bricks on the left. Smooth stone there, and polished die right there. Dark oak signs, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And that pretty much finishes off the, the tube. There's actually one last thing down here, which is a birch fence gate, just one and two. I will try and make this in two to one scale as well at some point, because it would be quite interesting to see the uh, increase in level of detail. But yeah, this is what this should look like so far. You'll have a little gap here and just 
fill that in with smooth stone and you can fill all this middle area in here if you want um i don't know if it's necessary because i think it covers it itself up with all the walls and stuff um, but you're welcome to do so and again you just do a, a random mixture of smooth stone and, and clay you just increase that material count a little bit but uh, i guess it covers everything up if you want to uh, add any battle damage or anything like that so it's just an idea for you i guess that's going to be it for the first section let's move on to the next one okay we're going to start the next layer up with a similar set of materials i'm just adding the gray concrete back the dark oak sign and the dark oak trapdoor as well start with the clay on top of the chiseled stone bricks and then two smooth stone on either side remember the green lines are front there Smooth stone, one, two, and three. Diorite walls on each side. Andesite walls on each side. Uh, we can take the... Right, yeah, we need the light gray stained glass panes and the iron bars again. This one here is a deep slate tile wall. And we're gonna skip one block out here. We're gonna use the clay as a temporary one and just do a dark oak trap door. And that's a, uh, a top half one, by the way. So it's not like that, it's like that. Dark oak sign there and there. Grey concrete on top of the one we did before. Another brick wall. Another red stained glass pane. And then just a upper facing with the uh, with the bottom shoot bit down facing against the block. And that's going to be it. Pretty simple layer. Uh, we're going to carry on up to the next one. All right, on this one, we need all the same materials as before, plus a few additional ones. Um, we're gonna start, I guess over here, do another clay on top of the ones we did before. Again, that's the front. Uh, this time, it's not smooth stone, it's actually the uh, polished diorite, one and two, one and two. Clay here, polished diorite, and then a smooth stone. And then with the gray concrete, we're gonna do one, two, three, and four like that with the yeah gray concrete to make a engine one sign just on the second gray concrete and then two dark oak trap doors on the sides in fact we're going to knock that last one out that's actually a, a chiseled stone brick just there like that iron bars on each side light gray stained glass pane again and a side wall again and our right wall again do the gray concrete here this time we're going to use the stripped mangrove wood one two brick wall in front of that a ch uh, chiseled stone brick here i still can't say that word there we go chiseled stone brick <laughs> and then you want the grindstone facing towards the front so with the arms facing that way looks like this and again, that's it for that layer. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, I'm keeping a, a, another similar set of materials. I've just added the uh, deep slate tile slab. Got rid of the red materials for now. Need a grey concrete on top of this grey concrete here. Two smooth stone, two there. Two polished diorite, two there. One here in the middle. Two clay and a smooth stone again. We need the deep slate tile slabs. In fact, you know what? I'm going to come back to those because we need to place them on things that I haven't done yet. Diorite wall on each of these, and the side walls again. Light gray stained glass pane and fence gate. Sorry, not fence gate, iron bars. I don't know why I said that. Um, dark oak trap door just here. And then this is one of the top half deep slate tile slabs. What I'm going to do is basically do it off to one side and then do a top half one like that. Another trapdoor. And then come to here, do a trapdoor against this andesite wall there and there. Crouch and place the deep slate tile slabs one and two. One and two. And then dark oak trap. In fact, three, sorry, three. And then dark oak trapdoor there and there. So it should look like that. Come to this side here, we're going to take the Smooth stone slab and iron trap door, two new materials here. In fact, is the iron trap, have we used that yet? No, I think it's a new one. 
smooth stone slab there and iron trap door here. One and two, it should look like this. Another new one, this is the birch trap door. One and one. And the side wall there and there. And then just a skeleton skull on the front like that. And that's gonna be it for that layer. Let's move up to the next one. Okay, moving up to the next layer. Again, I'm taking a similar set of materials here. I've just added the green concrete back. I've also added the gray stained glass pane and dark oak fence gate back again. We are gonna start at the front here and just do the same as what we did last layer. One, two, with the gray concrete in the middle. So there's the smooth stone ones. And a site wall there and there. And then I'm just gonna quickly switch that gray concrete for another hopper. And once again, just have it facing towards the uh, back of the build and connected to the gray concrete. Get the gray concrete back. I'm gonna put a polished diorite above where this trap door is. And then a clay. And then uh, two of the polished diorite again. Take the smooth stone. One, two, three. One, two, three. One there. And then andesite walls on the left and right. Andesite wall again. One, two. Again, one, two. Just grab the iron bars. Put that in the middle. Come to here now. We need the grey concrete. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fence gate just goes there, dark oak. Second one, deep state tile wall. And again, two of the gray stained glass panes on each side. And then just grab the dark oak trap door, do one there and one there. Get the andesite, oh, actually, no, you don't need that. Forget the andesite wall. Gray concrete, one, two, three there. This is going to be a wither skeleton skull to represent the very end of the, I guess, thruster at the back. There's one there. If you don't have wither skeleton skulls, you might be in survival or something. Um, just use, I don't know, maybe a polished blackstone button or something like that. Do a dark oak trap door on the side of the skull and just flip those down as well. Uh, one more deep slate tile wall, just one and two. And I think that does it um oh actually one more thing one more little thing here just a lever on the front of this uh polished diorite one and two and that's going to do it so let's move to the next one okay once again i'm using similar materials here i've got the uh three main materials we've been using and then andesite wall stone brick wall this time i'm going to add that um deep slate tile slab dark oak trap door uh polished andesite stairs and iron trap door Start with stone brick walls actually, we're going to put them on top of these levers just here and here. And you can actually add a second one because I know that that goes there, so that is a little bit on the layer up, but that's fine. Smooth stone, we're just going to put one here and then add an extra at six, going backwards. That's seven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And an extra one just there, and a side wall on either side. And then if we just grab the birch trap door as well one goes there on the back we're gonna put a deep plate tile slab here and a trap door there another trap door here and here another one there there as well and then slab just goes there on this side we just want the daylight detectors one and two and just turn those on like that Okay. I feel like there should be something on the back of here, but um, I'm just going to double check that and I'll uh, see what that is. Okay, so you can just use a uh, item frame or a glow item frame, it's up to you. Just put that there and there. You can put one on the um, other two as well if you want. Well, maybe not on this one, it won't let me. But you can do it on this one. That's that. Um... Iron trap door just goes here, there as well. We need the smooth stone slab, which we've used earlier. I can't remember where. Ah, oh, there it is. It's right, right there. One and two. Okay, come over to here now. We're going to take the smooth stone blocks, um, and I'm actually going to go to the next layer up, which is here. Put one there like that. Second one, go 
going forwards, and then two to the left, two to the right. We're actually going to leave those there. They're not temporary. They are part of the next layer, but we're going to put levers on the underside of these facing this way. Like that. Okay. We're going to then take this, I don't know, clay. You can use that, I guess, just as a temporary block. A top half iron trap door. In fact, no, no, no. I'm doing this completely wrong. Ignore that part. <laughs> We're going to put um, a temporary block just here, I guess, and then do a top half iron trap door on the previous layer. Well, the, the technically the current layer, but compared to these, it's, it's there basically if you need to pause and look where that is. I'm going to do two of those and then five temporary blocks. I normally use sponge, but I, I really can't bother to find it. I'm just going to use clay. One, two, three, four, five of those. Two more trapdoors, an extra temporary block of clay, and then this is actually a polished blackstone slab. Remember those clay blocks are just temporary, so we're going to delete those uh, now. Just like that. So you can see we're marking out parts of the tail section here. That's actually the um, other ball turret. So, well, it will be anyway. Right, that's it for the back area. We just need to move to the front now, get the polished underside stairs and put them above the hopper. Iron trap door there. And then this is a grindstone and also a chain. I'm going to put the chain just like this and then the grindstone facing towards it. Like that. Those should be next to the uh, iron trap door there. And that's going to be it for that layer now, so let's move on up to the next one. Okay, we're going to start this one off um, over here. We're going to grab these levers and do one and two. One and two. So those are on the blocks that we placed last layer as part of the current one. Do a three by three now with smooth stone going towards the back. Three more, three more again. Should take you to just one short of these trapdoors. On the, uh, so we did the three, we did the three again. On this first of the second three, if that makes sense. Well, you can just say the third one in from here. Do uh, two levers on each side. We're gonna need the stone stairs now. You're gonna put one stone stair just here, and then three upside down ones along there. Okay, and then two more upside down ones here. And in between just one smooth stone here to cover the gap. We need the grey concrete. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And stairs again, upside down facing backwards and then upside down facing forwards. Like that. We need the iron bar, just one there and one there. A smooth stone full block just going to go above this slab two more blocks two more there this is polished andesite stairs just one upside down one there as well and then one stone stair upside down smooth stone block in the middle smooth stone block in front you're actually going to go out and up and delete that first one but leave that one as a smooth stone block lever on the bottom of it facing towards the back of the build and then another lever there and another lever there as well okay now come to the back here we are going to take the polished blackstone full block and also the polished blackstone wall and we need the iron bar again i'm going to put the full block here wall on all four of the flat sides and then iron bars on the four corners then get the dark oak fence gate and the uh, dark oak sign just do one and two fence gates flip them both open and then signs on the uh, front one also another polished black stone slab just here <coughs> and yeah, I think that's going to be it again, so not an overly difficult layer. Let's move up to the next one. 
Okay, next layer up. This one, we start those weird little wing things that come out of the side of the uh, top of the body. So we'll do those now. Um, start with the trap doors on the side of each of the, uh, well, each side of the block that we placed on the previous layer. Smooth stone full block on each side now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, this is kind of where your cockpit area would be. In order to achieve that, you would probably have to switch a lot of these out with like trap doors that face that way. And then it just makes the outside look messy. So, um, but even then, you still only have like one and a half blocks of space in there, which just is not, is not much to work with. Smooth stone slab top half. So you got five smooth stone, skip the first two, and then there's two of them there. Both top half ones, two again. Iron trap doors, top half, one, two, three, four, and then one at the back, just here like that. One, two, three, four, one there. Smooth stone slab, top half again. And then this is a dark oak fence gate, one there, and one there, and just flip them both. Uh, with a skeleton skull now, we need to go just on the back of this one and two again if you don't have those you could maybe use like grindstones or something it's going to look a little bit too big but saves uh grinding for with the skeleton skulls i guess chain just there chain there as well if you're new to the videos um or if it's been a while just a reminder my my builds are made mainly with creative in mind um not most of them aren't intended to be made using survival blocks and stuff. That's why you'll see stuff like wither skeleton skulls, uh, even sometimes barrier blocks, but very, 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 very rarely for that one. Um, some of the five to one scale stuff uses barrier blocks there. But thankfully, I've not done much five to one yet. Uh, these are both polished diorite blocks with a top half smooth stone slab next to it. We need two grey concrete there and there. We need the uh, stone stairs facing that way upside down and again smooth stone block clay block there two top half iron trap doors two clay blocks next to those this is smooth stone one two three four five one two three four five two andesite walls there two there as well and also birch trap door grab those one two three flip them down and again one two three flip them down smooth stone one two three one two three one i'm going to take the uh, birch sign and that's three of those on the outside here and three of those on the outside here so you're just getting that like tapering pattern going inwards there Smooth stone block there and a site wall on each side. Need two of the polished diorite clay block here. Birch trap door, one there on the clay, two there. And then just iron bars to finish this bit off. Two of them, two of them there. And Yep, that's going to do it for that one. Let's move to the next one. Okay, on this one, I'm taking the polished blackstone to start with and the lever. Come to this bit at the front. The one there. Lever on this block here. And then levers on the side and just flip those down. Two smooth stone blocks behind it. And we can get rid of uh, that one now. I'm going to get the uh, mangrove stairs out. And that's one and one there. And we're also just going to throw that away quickly. Grab the red nether brick stairs. And that's one and two there. Strip mangrove wood, one and one. Polished all right, one, two, one, two. And then we'll just come back to here and finish this bit first before we go any further. We're going to take that daylight detector. One there and turn it on. And again. We need the iron trap doors, two of those on each side. Light grey carpet, one and two. And then this is red carpet, one, two there, one, two there. And then a crimson trap door with the stripes facing towards the front. 
like that. Okay. So strip mangrove wood, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I've replaced the gray concrete with a sign terracotta, and we're actually going to do two of those here, two of those here, and four along the inside like that. Carry on with the strip mangrove wood now. One, two, three, four, five this time. One, two, three, four, five. Mangrove stairs. Three here, three on that side. And then just three in the middle. I'm going to do it like this so that the uh, patterns all face in the same way. Looks like this. Polished die right. We need the lever again. One there and one there and just flip both of those. Two blocks of smooth stone. A stone stairs here, just mirroring what we'd had on uh, this one. Smooth stone four block, two and three. Need the grindstone back if we grab that. I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna do it this way. So you just uh, place one, place the other, and then you know flip them around like that. On the ends of those, we need the skeleton skulls again. I don't really know what you'd use as a substitution here if you are in survival, but that's what that should look like. You just need a birch trap door on the back. Flip that down. Last thing light grey banner we are at the end of the layer now which is uh, a relief four of them there five of them here again five and four and that once more is oh in fact oh i'm silly that's not um banners we're not at the end of the layer actually because there is one little thing i missed off we're going to switch that out i don't know why i thought that was uh, banners Andesite walls instead. One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five. There is one just here above the iron bar. There's also two uh, more iron bars there. I did wonder why that area looks so flat, and it's because I placed the wrong blocks. Um, but it's sorted now. That was a nice little quick fix. So, yeah, let's move up to the. I think it might be the final uh, two layers now. So, let's do that. Okay, yeah, this is the final. I call it two layers, it's technically three, but the last layer is literally just two candles. So, um, you can start at the back here. We're basically just covering up all the gaps, add in a few little extra details, and then we'll be done. Um, you're going to start where these grindstones are. On top of the grindstone block, you're actually going to place a trapdoor and then flip it like that. You're then going to take the fence gate, dark oak one, there, flip that. On the back, well, I guess front actually, the uh, trap uh, fence gate. So place a skeleton skull and also two of the chains. So that's one and two. One, two. Not there. There we go. Need the light grey carpet. We're going to put that just here. Two iron trap doors and then another light grey carpet. To the very front here, get the red carpet. We're going to put that above this smooth stain block. Crimson trap door, daylight detector, and turn that on. And then you'll need to add the mangrove slab, put that just there, strip mangrove wood, and then mangrove slab to the left and right of it. Two more of the crimson trap doors, one and two. This is going to be a polished. Uh, I've gone past it. There it was. Polished diorite slab. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two extra just there. Mangrove slab. One, two. I'm just going to throw away these carpets now. I'm going to get the mangrove stairs out. And that's a mangrove stair just here. Strip mangrove wood. And a stairs again. Get the... Dark oak fence gate just goes above this uh, full block of strip mangrove wood. One there. Gonna add those little uh, sticky up antenna things on the top. There's just a polished deep slate wall. One and two. And a grey candle. Very rarely used candles, but I'm, I'd like to uh, start doing it more. Looks just like that. They're not perfect, these um, bits that stick up here. 
they will be uh, better on the 2 to 1 model, I think. Because they're a weird angle and it's just hard to pull off at this scale. You want a rail on each of the outside blocks here. And also two redstone comparators just in the gap. You don't need to turn them on or anything. Two more rails. Levers, you want one and two, one and two. A dark oak fence gate on the back here. So this is like a circular turret on the top and there wasn't really a way to do this um, that I could find with, with the scale that it's in. Uh, mangrove fence gate there and there. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But the way that I did it was using um, skeleton schools to round it off. But you, you can leave those off or you could use rails or something. You use corner rails here. Um, that might look okay. But I have the skeleton schools at a 45 degree angle facing inwards. If these were player heads, and, oh goodness. If these were player heads and they were colored red, that would be perfect. Um, but just for simplicity of, of tutorial, I think. Um, I've not done that, but it's something you could maybe look into. And yeah, just a uh, mangrove pressure plate on top. Uh, there is one more skeleton skull now. This is just on the from the front left hand side, and that just goes on top of this uh, mangrove stair, and it's some sort of sensor thing. Uh, but that's that. And I think that's everything for the build. I'm gonna throw my materials away now. Um, I'm going to go give my voice a rest. I don't know why I used to be able to do like hours and hours of, of videos, multiple videos at a time, and now I can only do one and I'm exhausted. <laughs> Getting old. <laughs> I don't like it. That's what uh, the build looks like now with the with the shaders on. Um, just in case you use shaders, I use uh, Sonic Eater's... Uh, is it Ultimate Shaders or Unlimited Shaders or something like that? I can't remember. It's been so long since I uh, changed version of that, but that's the one I use. And yeah, looks looks pretty nice. Definitely a nice little fleet builder for those one-to-one -one scale collectors. And you, you do have the option of obviously making it a different color scheme. If you want to do the blue version, there's a, a different... Um, you, you kind of have to do it in a different way because the blue one doesn't have the stripe on the top, the red stripe. It, it, kind of goes down here on the side I think um, but I can't remember off the top of my head anyway that's going to be it for the build thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one I do have um, two large uh, tutorials that are going to be coming out quite soon um, but they're going to take a while to record um, one of them is like a Millennium Falcon in a way um, similar similar vibe i won't give any more away than that but it is on the uh on the web store i think um so that might give you a hint anyway i'll see you later have a great day and uh see you in the next one hey guys before the video ends i just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store this is a place where you can download builds from the past from tutorials that are out now and even preview builds from the future link is in the description go and have a look see if there's anything you like and yeah, see ya.